For today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge, a tricky geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this trapezoid with the side length 2x plus 1, x plus 4, x plus 1, and 2x plus 2, where x is a real number, then our goal is to find the area of this trapezoid. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so this is a tricky question from one of our followers. This is very tricky because we want the numerical value of the area of this trapezoid. And how do we get the numerical value when we are given the side length is a polynomial? So, to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is from this point, let's draw perpendicular line directly to the bottom part of our trapezoid. Now, take note that we create right over here a rectangle. So, since it is a rectangle, if this side is x plus 1, the other side, the opposite side, is also x plus 1, of course. Now, if this is x plus 1 and the total is 2x plus 3, so the other side or the other length must be equal to x plus 2. So, x plus 2 plus x plus 1, sure enough, you get 2x plus 3. Alright? Now, since it is x plus 4, the opposite side is also x plus 4 because this is a rectangle. Now, we can see a right triangle right over here. And since it is a right triangle, we can now apply the concept of the Pythagorean theorem. So, using Pythagorean theorem, we can say that 2x plus 2 raised to the power of 2, or the hypotenuse of this right triangle, must be equal to x plus 2 raised to the power of 2, one of its legs, plus x plus 4 raised to the power of 2, the other leg of this right triangle. Now, let's simplify. 2x plus 2 raised to the power of 2, using this identity to make this calculation faster, if we have a plus b raised to the power of 2, this must be equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, 2x plus 2 raised to the power of 2 must be equal to 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Now, how about the value of x plus 2 raised to the power of 2? This can be written using this identity. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4. So x plus 2 raised to the power of 2 equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. Plus the equivalent value of x plus 4 raised to the power of 2. And this is just equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now combining these two, we have 2x squared, we have 12x, and we have 20. So we can replace the right-hand side of our equation with 2x squared plus 12x plus 20. Now, let's combine like terms. First, let's subtract 2x squared on both sides. And if we do that, we get 2x squared plus 8x plus 4 equals 12x plus 20. Now, subtract 12x on both sides. So the left-hand side becomes negative 4x. And subtract 20 on both sides, and we have an equation 2x squared minus 4x minus 16 equals 0. Now, let's focus on this equation. Next, take note that the numerical coefficients are divisible by 2. So, why not divide all of this term by 2 to simplify this equation? If we do that, we get x squared minus 2x minus 8. And this quadratic equation is not hard to factor because if we factor this out, you get x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 2. This is very important, so let's have the factored form. Now, since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0 or this is just the 0 property. So we can say that x minus 4 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. Using the first equation, if we add 4 on both sides, you get that x must be equal to 4. 
And on the second equation, if we subtract 2 on both sides, you get that x equals negative 2. So we have two possible values for x. We have negative 2 and positive 4. But we have a side length of this trapezoid must be equal to x plus 1. And if this x is negative 2, negative 2 plus 1, this side becomes negative 1. And we don't want to have a side length which is negative 1. So x equals negative 2 is not part of our solution in this kind of question. So we can disregard this value. Therefore, the only thing left is x must be or equals 4. Now, let's go back to our figure. We have a trapezoid with side x plus 1, x plus 4, 2x plus 3, and 2x plus 2. We know the value, the numerical value of x, which is equal to 4. So we can replace all of this x, all of this x, with its value, 4. Now let's simplify. 4 plus 1, this will give us 5. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2, this will give us 10. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3, this is 11. And 4 plus 4, this will give us 8. Now, at this point, we are now ready to find the area of this trapezoid. So, using this formula, we have 1 half times base 1 plus base of 2 times h.